Boom, plant the seed and you shall receive. Tonight, I would like to um, discuss something with you guys. And that is make it count. Everything you do in life, make it count. You got to remember, you can't fix the past, but you can control your future. Make it count. Don't say what you could have done. Don't say, I wish I can go back and do it all over again. Whatever you're doing today, make it count. God is depending on you. He is looking over you and he is counting on you to make each and every moment of your life count. You have to do exactly what's on your heart. Don't live your life in regret. Don't live your life saying, well, if I would have did this, then maybe it would have turned out. No. You have the opportunity right now to make your life count. God has given us health. He has given us strength. And he is encouraging us to do better. And we can do better. All we have to do is make life count. Don't go without life thinking that you can't make it work, that you can't do what's on your heart. God has given us the ability to go forward, to move forward. Like I said in all the videos, you can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens you daily. All you have to do is make it count. You know, you have to look back over your life. Think about someone that you know in life that had made terrible decisions, lost their life, whether it be in prison or to the grave. You have the chance right now to make it count. Whatever you do in this life, in the skin that you're in, make sure that you are doing exactly what um, you were you were supposed to, you are supposed to do. A lot of people go um, about life not caring, not worrying what's going to happen, and just living life reckless. But see, here in life, you have the opportunity. You have the opportunity because it's a lot of people that are gone. You know, God had called them home. They made bad decisions. They can't fix it no more. It's over. Their time has been called. But you have the opportunity to make it count. And while I'm saying make it count, make sure that you have a personal relationship with Christ. Make it count. Make sure that you are praying and that you are reading your Bible each and every day. Make it count. Give your life to Christ while you have the opportunity. Make it count. Because yesterday is gone and you only have today and tomorrow may not come. So you have to make it come. God loves you. He wants to build a relationship with you and not just any relationship, but a strong relationship. And that's why I'm telling you guys today, this moment, make it count. You don't know when your time is coming. You don't know when God may call you home. Life is too short. So you have to make it count each and every. Every second of the day. Don't go into life saying what you could have done or what you should have done when you have the opportunity right now, this very moment. Make it count. Give your life to Christ. First John 3.16, chapter 3, verse 16 says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, 
that so whoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. God made it count. Jesus made it count. Now I want someone, you, to make it count. Give your life to Christ today and make it count. That's my word for today. Make it count. Don't come up short. Do it while you can. With that being said, every eye is closed and head bowed. Father God, I come saying thank you for this day. Thank you for this moment. Heavenly Father, I come saying thank you for watching over each and every individual that is watching this video. I ask right now that you touch them, Father God. That you give them peace. That you give them strength where they're weak. Heavenly Father, I come saying, show them the way. Father God, allow them to make it count, Father God. Allow them, Father God, to do what they need to do, Father God, to make it count. Father God, we thank you for sending your son, Jesus Christ, down to die on the cross for our sins. Thank you, Father God, for giving us a second chance. Father God, we come asking you right now to watch over our families, watch over our children, Father God, order our steps, Father God. Father God, we give you the praise and we give you the glory. Heavenly Father, I ask right now that you strengthen each and every individual that is watching this video. Touch them in a mighty way, Father God. Show them the way, Father God. I ask right now that they give their life for you, Father God. That they turn away from sin, Father God. And that they look towards heaven where their help and their strength comes from. Father God, we come saying thank you. Thank you for what you're doing and thank you for what you're getting ready to do. Father God, we know that we serve a good God. We know that you are good, Father God. And we just say thank you. Thank you, Father God. Thank you for the people that are watching this video. And before we close this video, Father God, we ask right now that you show them the way. Give them, Father God, what they're asking for. In the name of Jesus, we pray, declare, and decree right now in Jesus' name. Amen and thank God. Plant the seed and you shall receive. Make it count while you have the opportunity. I love you guys and Jesus Christ loves you more. Remember, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel for more videos. Hit that subscription button down below, that bell, and God is getting ready to do some awesome things. Remember, plant the seed and you shall receive God's blessings. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, you guys be blessed.